Dear students, welcome to EPG Pathshala. I am Dr. K. John, Assistant Professor of Library Information Science. In this presentation, we will discuss about information literacy models, which is 21st unit of library user and use study. Dear students, in this presentation, I am going to explain about different information literacy models. This term information literacy was initially coined by Paul Zurowski in 1974. The United States National Forum on Information Literacy has defined information literacy as the ability to know when there is a need for information, to able to identify, locate, evaluate and effectively use that information for the issue or problem at hand. In the earlier model, you must have learned about what is information literacy and why it is so important in this present scenario of ICT and its application in the field of library and information science. Because we are living in the age of information in which information is increasing rapidly. In this age, we can access any information at any point of time and information sources are available to us 24 by 7. Moreover, we have to be more cautious about the right information because information which is so easily and quickly available does not represent that all is worthwhile or even true. This ICT age requires specific skills that enable us to use information technologies effectively and efficiently to find, manage and the ability to critically evaluate and ethically apply to solve a problem. Information literacy was initially introduced by Paul Zurowski in 1974 as information skill. He has explained that information problem can be solved by using relevant information sources and relevant technologies. This in definition seems perfect in this present scenario too. Since then this phenomena information literacy become an important necessity. In this module, we will discuss the various models of information literacy which are developed by the individuals. This presentation has been developed with the following objectives. The first objective is to understand the process of information literacy skills. Means after knowing the different models of information literacy, you will be able to understand how information literacy can de develop a lifelong learning to understand the various models of information literacy such as models developed by individuals and by associations, institutions and organization. And the next objective of this model to know which model is made for which type of reader, the information literacy inherits lifelong learning. There are so many models were developed by the individuals and in this module we will discuss first nine modules which are search process model, 8 W's model, Jamie McKenzie's model of information literacy, 7 phases of information literacy, research steps to success, source model, plus model, big skills model and the big blue taxonomy of information skills model. These are the standards of information literacy 
which were developed by the associations, organizations and institutions. These were devised just to develop information literacy skills among the individuals. These models and standards follow same philosophy that how an individual can be converted a simple information seeker into an information skilled person. This model based on two assumptions that the first one information required for personal reasons and the second one information required for academic purpose for their projects and writing something on a topic. Before starting the further discussion on model, you may feel that the terminology used in this presentation is complex, but I do not think that after an understanding the all models with this presentation, you will have any problem to understand these models. The first model we will discuss that is information search process which was developed by the Carol Collier Kohalthau in 1988. The information search process presents a view of information seeking from the user's perspective and this model has six stages namely task initiation, selection, exploration, focus formulation, collection and presentation. Now we will discuss all these stages in details. The first stage is task initiation. This is an initial stage of search process. This stage user correlates present with past experience of search process and formulates different approaches to find information. This stage is the stage of uncertainty and confusion. And the second stage is selection. In this stage, user starts search through general approaches and combines his personal interest in search. After this process, the confidence level increases and feels that he is closer to his topic and approaches. The third stage is exploration. This stage involves exploration. In this stage, the user has expanded his understanding towards topic and feels focused. But again, he becomes confused with the amount of information that he has retrieved through general approaches. And the fourth stage is formulation. This stage is related with formulation of right topic and approaches because after retrieving information. He starts segregating focus topic through making notes and discussing with other users and feel more confident through his success. And the next stage is collection. This stage belongs to collection of information is after working with the system to find focused information and starts collect information which feeds with his topic. This stage removes all confusions and uncertainty. And the last stage is the closer. In this stage, user 
completes his search and starts writing report sometime users sometime user tries to recheck for any missed information at this stage user feels satisfied with his information search and what he has retrieved the aws model was formulated by annet lamb in 1990s this is a project based or task based model which extend opportunity to the student to explore on their own and learn complexities of information literacy the stages of this model are watching wondering webbing wiggling weaving wrapping waving and wishing now we will discuss these stages briefly the first stage is watching in this first stage of this model user explores and considers his surroundings means try to find the answer of the question that is information second stage is wondering in this stage the user checks his prior knowledge in reference to the topic issues and question the third stage is webbing this stage direct user to locate or search information related to his topic issues and questions information which has been collected may lead to new question or possibility and new area of interest user selects or relevant information and then organizes them into meaningful manner the fourth stage is wiggling in this stage user evaluates information which has been collected at earlier stage because at this stage user is uncertain about what he has collected is relevant or not or collected information will go with the topic or not and the next stage is weaving in this stage user organizes the ideas and formulates plan in this stage user also focus on application analysis and synthesizing of information the next stage is wrapping this stage is very important stage because in this stage users create packing packaging ideas that is solution he analyzes information according to the needs and also analyze about its meaningfulness the next stage is waving in this stage user communicates ideas through presentation or sharing he may ask usefulness of the search information by communicating or presenting the last stage is wishing this stage belongs to assessment it is necessary to assess because after a long process of searching relevant and meaningful information which may help him to make future possibilities now we will discuss about the jam mckenzie model of information literacy this model is based upon the research cycle developed by mckenzie in 1995 
this model is based on team activity it was learned that the approaches towards research by the students are inadequate and old because in the information rich environment they are unable to meet essential learning goals moreover the students are having all type of support to conduct their research but the author has felt that there is a need to reinvent the concept of research upgrading the inquiry method questioning method and evaluation method with additional component that is teaming at the experimenting stage of this model teachers have been engaged to achieve the objectives in a staff development course entitled launching student investigations for teaching teams of students the following steps of research cycle have been developed and adopted these are questioning planning gathering sorting and shifting synthesizing evaluating reporting and on the horizon now we will discuss all these steps one by one the first step is questioning in this stage normally students have been asked to find out information on a particular topic this type of assignments or research compels students to do cutting and pasting even which is more ridiculous so this model emphasizes on research questions which require either problem solving or decision making the next stage is planning the student team has to spend time in framing sub questions of the main questions they may ask where the information might lie what sources are likely to provide the information what sources can provide the information effectively and efficiently which resources are more reliable how will they sort sift and store their findings and the next stage is gathering after deciding or defining question a thoughtful and productive planning has to be made to proceed further to collect useful and relevant information through searching good information sources swiftly and efficiently otherwise team might waste their valuable time just searching insignificant information it is also important that the team may only use the internet in many cases but sometime books and cd roms might have be more efficient and has useful information the next stage is sorting and sifting after collecting the required information it is necessary to look inside of the all collected information and sorting and sifting of useful information is done seven phases of information literacy this model was developed by christine susan bruce she has developed this model after experiencing different phases that is character of information literacy at workplace these phases of information literacy have following characteristics varying 
emphasis on technology, emphasis on holding professional responsibilities rather than specific skills, social collaboration on interdependence between colleagues rather than an emphasis on individual capabilities, need for the partnership of information intermediaries, libraries and information centers, emphasis on intellectual manipulation of information rather than technical skill with IT. She further clarified that each phase has three main components. First one is the information technology and the second one is the information use which are present in all the phases and the third element is a unique element and which vary in each phase depending on situation. Now we will discuss about the uh, seven phases of information literacy. It has seven phases. The first phase is the IT experience. This phase involves two permanent elements that is information use and information technology and one temporary element is information scanning means a person who is having a good command over information scanning means he has good command on information literacy skill. The second phase is the information source experience. Again this phase involves two permanent elements that is information use and information technology and one temporary element that is information sources means a person who is having a good knowledge about information sources and having a good knowledge how to retrieve information from these information sources means having a good command over information literacy skill. Third phase that is the information process experience. This phase involves two permanent elements that is information use and information technology and one temporary element is information process means a person who is having good knowledge about information process can tackle any novel condition and we can say that he has good command over information literacy skill and the fourth phase is information control experience this phase has two permanent elements that is information use and information technology and one temporary element that is information control means a person having good command over controlling system of information means a filing system or know about the computer computer uses in storage and retrieval information or can use any media to search information or can retrieve and manipulate and manipulate information means he has good command over information literacy skills. The fifth phase is the knowledge construction experience. This phase of information literacy involves two permanent elements that is information use and information technology and one temporary element that is knowledge base. It is based on the awareness and experience of knowledge creation, evaluation and analysis rather than searching information. Means who have knowledge about how the knowledge is being formed or is having better information literacy 
skill. The sixth phase is the knowledge extension experience. This phase of information literacy involves two permanent elements that is information use and information technology and one temporary element that is knowledge base. This phase belongs to extensive personal knowledge and experience together with creative insight or intuition. This creative insight vary person to person. It can be considered as a level of information literacy because this built new knowledge and approaches towards task and can handle novel situations. And the last phase is the wisdom experience. This phase of information literacy involves two permanent elements that is information use and information technology and one temporary element that is knowledge base. This type of phase of information literacy generates ethical use of information. Research steps to success. This model of information literacy was developed by Sandra Hughes and this method is helpful in solving information problem of answering a research question. These methods flow in four steps. It was experienced that as we can find the research answer after completing all steps of the model. This information literacy model is helpful for conducting a research as well as a journal information literacy. The steps of these models are preparing for research, assessing resources, processing information and transferring learning. The first stage is preparing for research. This is the first step involves preparation for research and the second stage is assessing resources. In this stage, users has to check topic, research planning and check resource planning and make a perfect information search strategy. And the third, third step is processing information. This stage involves evaluation of information sources and then finds out info, important information sources from the sources have been chosen for. And the last stage is transferring learning. The last step involves transferring of learning. After solving the problem or finding the answer of research question, it is necessary to make it in a presentable form. Source model of information literacy, which is developed by Trevor Bond. Source is a process for users to use in a research, problem solving and inquiry learning. This model was initially developed in the year 1999 and that it was revised in April 2009. The model given here is an updated version of SOS. This model was initially created by Trevor Bond and this can be depicted as information literacy and inquiry learning and problem solving or research process. This model is a kind of tool which develops understanding of users and train them to search required information effectively. The framework guides users in every step into research and also into finding relevant information to solve the problem. This is also regards as a tool for teacher to guide their students though this the user can effectively assess and evaluate the information search process and also become an information literate individual. It was observed that the information literacy 
skill covers various types of skill in other words it can be said that this consists in critical and technical skills this model inherits information literacy capabilities so we can do much more that just gathering and presenting information the process of the source model is given as under the first stage is setting the scene the success of and failure of the task depends on the keywords and phrases for the form probably information sources this is primary and important for the task the second step is acquire this stage of the source model involves several steps mainly define keywords and phrases write search question choose appropriate source select relevant information validate information and assess and review progress and the third step is use according to trevor bond to be inform information literate is to be able to locate access acquire comprehend analysis analyze and critic relevant information then utilize it to make valid informed decision and also communicate those decisions appropriately with validation where necessary the next stage is communication it is an assumption assumption that the end product should be in printed form but when we come across cautiously at the verb which has been used in higher level task resultantly we find our products is an art fact idea product or solution and the last stage is the evaluation evaluation of the solution is depend on two aspects first product and the second process the model has minor focus on product and a major focus on process the plus model was initially developed by the james herring and published in 1996 the author has experimented this model cautiously and then implemented with great success this model has been used in schools in the uk south africa australia and new zealand the main elements of the plus model are purpose location use and self evaluation this model helps to student in completing their research assignments and even it also inherit the capabilities of information literacy skills this model incorporate basic elements of information literacy skills and also aids emphasis on thinking skills and self evaluation the plus model is described as the first stage is purpose this stage includes task such as first to identify information lead learn to frame research questions plan a research using flow chart and identify keywords second stage is location this stage includes task such as select suitable information sources and locate information through library catalog indexes databases cd roms or search engines the third stage is use this stage includes task such as evaluate relevancy of retrieved information scheme and scan information taking notes presenting and communicating information and write a bibliography and the last stage is self evaluation this stage includes task such as reflect on what he has been learned and being able to come to a conclusion based on information found 
carry out a personal information skills audit and identify successful information skills strategies. Big six skills. This model was developed by Mike Eisenberg and Bob Berkowitz. The big six is extensively, extensively known and generally used to teach ICT skills used in thousands of K-12 schools, higher education institutions and corporate and adult training program. The big six information problem solving model is applicable whenever people need and use information. Big six module has six stages. The six stages are task definition, information seeking strategies, location and access, use of information, synthesize and evaluation. The big six is a problem solving model. The big six model was developed from observation and study and was established a six stages formula for solving ICT related information problems and every model has some has two sub stages like task definition has def defined the information problem and identify information needed de and decide its boundaries the second stage information seeking strategies it has two sub stages like determine all possible sources and select the best sources the third stage is locate and access it has two sub stages locate sources intellectually and physically and the second one is find information within sources the fourth stage is use of information it has two stages engage that means read hear view or touch and the second sub stage is extract relevant information fifth stage is synthesize it has two sub stages that is organize from multiple sources and present the information and the last stage is evaluation it has two sub stages first judge the product means to judge its effectiveness and second is judge the process means to judge its efficiency we have discussed several models of information literacy in this model all have different purpose and applicable in different domains such as schools colleges and institutions institutions even for the corporate institutions all models inherit information literacy skills and if we follow these models or even any one model we can develop information literacy skills in us the above discussion also shows that models which have been discussed are great contribution towards information literacy and certainly information literacy has great impact on the success of education life professional lives and it inherits lifelong learning for everyone thanks everyone if you still want to know something more please read online all are discussed in details.